Two votes were held today in the Senate that could have reopened the government. Both bills failed, and the latest proposal from President Trump is getting a cold shoulder from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. The motion is not agreed to. Another day, another impasse over the government shutdown. The Senate failing to pass two competing bills to reopen the government. This is all man-made, and this is turning not only into a catastrophe, it's turning into an emergency. How ludicrous it is that this government is shut down over a promise the President of the United States couldn't keep. The Senate first voted 51-47 to block a Republican proposal that includes $5.7 billion for a wall along the Mexican border. Senators then voted 52-44 on a Democratic proposal to reopen the government and negotiate border security. The measures needed 60 votes to pass. Senator Florida Senators Marco Rubio and Rick Scott voted along party lines. The shutdown is not a glitch. It is a crisis that the president alone created and that the president alone can end. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has agreed to meet with President Trump, but rejected his idea of putting a down payment on a wall. One of the ideas suggested is they open it, they pay a sort of a, a prorated down payment for the wall, which I think people will agree that you need. Pelosi called the idea unreasonable. Well, South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham said he spoke with President Trump and that money for a barrier along the border is required to end this shutdown.